所以出差感觉良好。但我说了，最震撼的是什么呢？在太空飞翔那个感觉啊。Welcome to China Space Station. Ye Guangfu is a member of Shenzhou 13 manned mission. Shenzhou 13 crew arrived at China Space Station on October the 16th, 2021, and started working and living in space for six months. During their stay in orbit, they completed a number of tasks called the key technology verification phase of the space station project, two spacewalks and two space lectures. They returned to Earth on April the 16th last year. Following the personal recovery training, I've started my normal training according to the designated plan. Apart from the theory study, we also have the professional technology program. What impressed you most during your 183 day stay aboard China Space Station? We've experienced several major tasks during our space mission. For example, the extravehicular activity. It is indeed a challenging task and a very important task. When I stood on the robotic arm, the universe was so deep, dark, the kind of dark that you couldn't see through. When I got on the arm at the beginning, I felt a warm van ease. As I kept thinking about whether the footstops were tightly installed, something related to the safety. But as time passed by, when we were sure that all of our operations were correct, and after we completed one task after another, we finally felt at ease. Our flight support team was with us, offering us a lot of support. Even if we encountered any problems, things would just get resolved. The mental support from the ground team really encouraged us a lot. In order to conduct the spacewalk, in fact, we have to do a lot of ground training in the early stage. We need to wear a spacesuit. We conducted the training underwater for up to five to six hours, and we have to overcome the gravity, buoyancy, some water resistance. China is welcoming foreign astronauts to a space station. What would you like to say to any scientists or astronauts who wish to apply? Exploring the universe is our common work. In these years, China Manned Space Agency has maintained continuous and in-depth communication and cooperation with many international counterparts, including the communication of aerospace technologies, cooperation on space products, as well as joint study and communication with astronauts from other countries. Being the astronauts, we have the obligation and responsibility to explore and discover the mysteries of the universe for all human beings. We're also very grateful to foreign astronauts for their attention on us. Now, China's space station has been completed. We also warmly welcome our foreign friends to join us and to make contributions to the future of our mankind. Personally, I'd like to say to them, Welcome to China Space Station. Today, a lot of young students dream to be an astronaut or of working in the space sector. What would you like to say to them? I'd like to say that life spent with hard work is the most magnificent. Just like our journey to space, it is brilliant but also extremely difficult. In the process of chasing our dreams, only the muddiest roads can leave the deepest footprints. And the splendor of life is reflected in the process of fighting for your dream. I hope the young people can forge ahead bravely. I believe that the vast universe is also waiting for you to explore. <laughs>